a voiceover might be a perfect element to add to your next video. It can help the viewer understand what's going on and make your video more interesting. And the best part is, you can record and add a voiceover to your next project directly in Final Cut Pro. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to record a voiceover directly in Final Cut Pro. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. Like I mentioned before, you can record a voiceover directly in Final Cut Pro. You can use your computer's internal microphone, but I would strongly recommend using an external mic. A decent quality USB mic, such as the Blue Snowball, can be purchased for around $60 and the difference you'll see in the quality of your recording will be huge. So if you are using a dedicated mic, connect it to your computer and open your project in Final Cut Pro. Place your playhead where you want the voiceover to start and from the menu bar select Window and Record Voiceover or use the keyboard shortcut Option Command 8. A voiceover pop-up window opens up where we need to adjust a few settings. First, click on the Advanced Disclosure Triangle and select your input device. Next, speak into your microphone at a normal volume level and watch your audio meters while adjusting the gain slider. Bring up the slider to increase your input levels without peaking the meters. Next, name your voiceover track and in the bottom of the window, choose the event this track will be stored in and its audio roll. Set monitor to off unless you're using headphones to monitor your audio. If you leave this on without using headphones, your mic will pick up the sound coming from your monitor speakers. If you are using headphones to monitor your audio, select on and use the gain slider to adjust the volume to a comfortable listening level. Selecting countdown to record checkbox will give you a visual and audio countdown in the viewer before your recording begins. If your project has background music or any other audio tracks, you can mute them by selecting the next checkbox. Your microphone will pick up any sounds coming out of your speakers, so unless you're using headphones to monitor audio, select this checkbox. And last, if you're planning on recording a couple takes of the voiceover, selecting the Create Audition from Takes checkbox will combine all your takes into one audition clip. With all the settings selected, once you're ready to start recording, hit the record button. Your playhead will move back a few seconds, your project will start playing in real time, and a countdown timer will begin in the viewer. The countdown timer will reach zero at the same time your playhead reaches the original location it was set in. This is your cue to begin recording your voiceover. Day one was spent snorkeling in the Sea of Cortez. Once you're done, hit spacebar to stop recording. If you want to record another take, hit the record button again without moving the playhead and re-record your audio. Day one was spent snorkeling in the Sea of Cortez. Final Cut Pro will create an addition of all your takes into a single audition clip. After you've finished recording, you can preview the different takes in your audition clip and choose the one you want to use. To preview your takes, right click on the audition clip and select audition and preview. Or use the keyboard shortcut Control command y Your project will begin playing with your first take selected. Day 1 was spent snorkeling in the Sea of Cortez. Use the right and left arrow keys to cycle between different takes. Day 1 was spent snorkeling in the Sea of Cortez. Once you're happy with the take you've selected, hit done to close the audition window. You can also use clip auditions to apply different effects to your voiceover. Right click on the audition clip and select audition and duplicate as an audition. Use the arrow keys to select your duplicated clip, one with copy in the name. In the effects browser, select the effect you want to try out and drag and drop it over your clip. To review your applied effect, select the clip and press spacebar to play it. Day one was spent snorkeling in the Sea of Cortez. Use the right and left arrow keys to cycle between clips. Day one was spent Once you're happy with how your clip sounds, press done to close the audition window. If you're sure about your decision and want to finalize your audition, right click on the clip and choose audition and finalize audition. This will dissolve your audition, leaving only the chosen clip in the timeline. Voiceovers are a very powerful tool and can add another dimension to your next project. Try it out in your next edit and let me know what you think in the comments below. And make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos uploaded weekly, so please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back next week.